Number 15. You look like a cheese pizza. Cheese pizzas are not attractive. So, being compared to one isn't very positive. Cheese pizzas are usually greasy and kind of bubbly. So if someone is called this, their self-esteem might dwindle as they wonder, does their face actually look like a cheese pizza? Number 14. You're gay. A juvenile yet simple insult that when said to someone makes them question their sexuality. It is very effective on young children. Number 13. You are dumb. Another juvenile insult but very effective to making someone question their intelligence level. Saying you are dumb to someone can really destroy them in an argument. Number 12. I fucked your mom. A very common insult in the Call of Duty community, it is usually used as the backfire when someone kills you, but the psychological advantage you gain when saying this to someone is quite amazing as it makes them think, is my mom cheating on my dad with one of my friends who I play Call of Duty with? Number 11. You're kinda gay. This is more effective than you're gay because you're implying that they only have a little bit of gay in them. It makes the person question, what am I doing that's gay? Number 10, you smell like beef. This one's a hard hitter, especially for someone who cares about their body odor. Body odor plays such a huge role in attractiveness for humans, and if they smell like a hamburger, then most people aren't gonna wanna mate with you. Number nine, uh... Number 8. You're mean. The last thing you'd want someone to say to you is, you're mean, especially if that person is your friend. But turns out, if you're being a jerk, it's just what you get. Number 7. Your Magic the Gathering deck sucks. One of the best games ever created is Magic the Gathering, and people take pride in their decks. Insulting someone's deck is just about as bad as insulting their livelihood. So, if you say this to someone, they will crumble before you. Number 6. Boy. Popular among the roasting community, boy is usually said when pointing all five fingers at an opponent and is usually a precursor of things to come. The reason boy is so scary is because you don't know the sentence that's gonna come after it. It's almost like hitting open a pinata. You never know what's inside. Number five, you watch Jake Paul. Jake Paul is a big handsome boy on YouTube. He has over 16 million subscribers, but his audience consists of little children. So saying this to someone is implying that they have the mental capacity of a little child. Number four, I think I'm gonna go take a shower. Number two, what are those? What are those is probably the funniest and coolest meme that was ever created. It refers to calling someone's shoe game very weak. When saying this to someone, it may cause them to kill themselves because no one wants a weak shoe game. A weak shoe game is worse than not having a girlfriend. Before we get to number one, my name is Spankbank and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you want to know what I look like, you should head over to Tinder and find me. Swipe right me. It'd be kind of cool. I've never had a girlfriend before so we could like hold hands or like get dinner or something. I'd really like that. You should also follow me on Twitter at BoySquadYT. And it's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're feeling generous enough to subscribe and hit that little bell button next to it, then thank you. Number one, Pokemon go to the polls. This was said in 2016 by American presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. This is so insulting because if you say this to anyone, you will not have friends anymore. 